Hello, I'm Dr. Priyanka Reddy, Fertility Consultant, Motherhood Hospitals in HRBR layout, Bangalore. So what are the causes for infertility? Let's categorize it into female and male. So in females, we see something called as fallopian tube factors. So what are the problems in fallopian tubes? Either the fallopian tubes are damaged or they are blocked. What causes these problems in the fallopian tubes? It can be caused by pelvic inflammatory diseases, endometriosis or a patient has undergone some pelvic surgeries because of which there has been pelvic adhesions. Let's talk about ovarian causes. Ovarian causes, it can be due to anovulatory cycles. In anovulatory cycles, the patient is not able to release the egg and is not having regular cycles. This can be due to hormonal imbalances or a term called as polycystic ovarian disease. In this problem, the patient is not able to release an egg. The egg is not being formed and not being released. Hence, the, there is no pregnancy. The other cause for ovarian factor will be diminished ovarian reserve. The patient can be either elderly or can, have, can be at a younger age but still have less ovarian reserve. As women, we are born with only certain number of eggs and as we age, the quality and the quantity of egg keeps coming down. Another factor is called as premature ovarian failure. This is another factor where the patient does not have any eggs left in the ovaries at a younger age. So we have uterine causes. What are the causes in the uterus that does not allow for the attachment of the embryo into the uterus? Either there are adhesions in the uterus, polyps or fibroids. These do not allow the embryo to attach into the uterus. Cervical factors. Very minor percentage of people have cervical factors, that would be about 5%, where the sperms are not allowed to enter into the uterus. Now let's talk about the male factors. In male, we look at the semen analysis. In the semen analysis, we are looking at the quality and the quantity of the sperms. What are, what are the factors that we look at in semen? The parameters would be the count, the motility and the morphology. So we need to have a good count, a good movement so that the sperms can reach the egg and the morphology, that is the structure of the sperm. They have to have a certain proportion as the head, the neck and the tail needs to be in a certain proportion. Then we say that the morphology is good or bad. 